everybody, Sandra Duran Wilson here, and I'm in, very excited to be a part of this Find Out Friday's painting or creating challenge. And I'm looking forward to see what I can make with these wonderful things that uh, Donna sent me. And I'm going to take a look at what I have here. And I found lots of fun tissue paper in there and a, um, instructions. A stencil, which I actually recognize this stencil, and I have one just like it in a larger scale, so I think I'll be playing with both of them. I've got a Liquitex Aqua paint marker and a Sharpie white permanent. Yeah, extra fine point. And some Golden High Flow uh, Quinacridone Red. So we've got a, a good start to a color palette and let me think about what I can do with this challenge. I love a challenge and um, let me see what I can come up with. I'll see you in a few minutes. I've gathered up my supplies and I've got this uh, Titan Buff Quinacridone Gold Anthraquinone Blue Water Deli Sheet and my paper, I've misted with some water, and then I'm putting drops of these different colors just randomly around the page. Apply some more water, and I'm using the deli sheet to actually move my paint around. I'm pressing it, picking it up, dragging it, add a little more water, maybe a little more paint. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you some really fun ways to move your paint around and um, alcohol will move the paint. The uh, paint when it's wet will move away from the alcohol drops. So I just keep adding more paint to get a very nice rich background surface and um, just dry it and now that I'm satisfied I'm going to come in with this stencil. I'm using white and some anthraquinone blue kind of mixed together on my sponge and dabbing it through the stencil. It's not a perfect stencil. I, that's not what I'm going for. I'm still at this point I'm just creating background that will probably only a very small portion of it will peek through. Now I'm going to look at bringing in the other stencil which I said I have one like it and it's a same shape it's just a larger scale so I'm repeating the pattern back and forth between the two same colors add a little more white a little more blue just get a bit of a variation going again this is still going to be most of it be covered up so now we're going to do some fun things blowing some paint around I'm mixing in Liquitex pouring medium with a little water. I'm using my quinacridone red, uh, Titan Buff, some purple, and then I actually just pour and then blow it around on the surface. I'm using a straw and I just keep applying the different uh, colors and using the skewer even and the straw, letting it run and pour back to my deli sheet. So these are just all ways of getting the paint on the surface. Wipe a little back. I haven't even used a brush yet, so these are just fun ways to get your get your paint moving. So you can get some different effects, even get some um, opening like cells like you do with pores. But I'm just moving color around, getting a very interesting background and um, playing, really. Got to get this dry, and now I'm using the knife to move some things around. You may think, well, you're covering up most of everything, but these layers, when you um, start to move things around, even if 10% of that background layer is peeking through. You couldn't have gotten there any other way. I just added some uh, pink and kind of blotting it around, drawing it, 
putting it on, taking some off. I call this the painter's dance. Quinacridone gold, that's like the magic color that kind of unifies everything. So I can put that over and some of the reds and kind of blend them in with the blues. The white, I'm starting to um, mix blending with my fingers, the wet paint, kind of getting an atmospheric look going on. So I'm really mixing my colors, not on a palette and applying it. I'm just mixing it on the painting on the surface. And as you can see, that's why I'm wearing gloves. So again, I just keep building up, blending, kind of getting to a point to where, all right, I think I have this nice background. I'm going to look at putting on some more of the stencils. So we're going to be using this is um, Liquitex light molding paste. It's a really nice um, white, bright white and thick texture so I can put it through this stencil and get a nice um, surface. Now with the bigger one I've got texture on there and if I want to make this stencil work I'm putting um, soft gel through the stencil first. Then I'm going to mix the soft gel with color and I'm going to apply that over the wet gel. So the gel kind of squishes out and if there's any um, ridges then when I put the color on that gel is keeping the color from blending out so when I pull it off I have a really nice stencil effect. So this is a great trick for um, getting perfect stencils. I'm cleaning the stencil off on my deli sheet. I love these papers. They make great collage papers for another piece. So um, I'm just going to use light molding paste now through the stencil, kind of checking my composition of where I want it to go. And um, again, it's not a, meant to be a perfect application. Just getting some color on there, working with shapes and scale, moving back and forth from the small stencil to the large stencil. And just going to blending some more of the light molding paste in. It's actually one of my favorite uh, products to use because it um, it's a great blending material and when it dries I can do like a dry brush technique on top to catch the paint. So now I'm working with these paint pens. Um, the white is it's working well at first and then I get kind of a big accidental blob so kind of leads me in another direction mixing it with the Liquitex turquoise, playing with the shapes, kind of pushing some back. I like Liquitex pens for doing this particular kind of painting and because I don't like have to stop and pick up more paint. The um, Sharpie is a little trickier uh, going over some of the areas that are glossy from the Liquitex. So I found that I kind of made a little bit of a, a mess with it. So I'm bringing in some darks now. This is a Payne's Gray. So I'm starting to add my highlights and my shadows. See, there's my big mess. So anyway, it's okay. Let's just blend it. We'll play with that. It led me to make another shape. So I'm just kind of following where the painting wants to go you know, being more intuitive of, okay, the mark making, the shapes, but being conscious of the color values and the composition. So the lights against the dark can really help to move the eye around the painting. I like playing with these pens. They're fun. I have a whole set of them and I don't use them enough so now I'm going back in with some more of the darks beginning to blend the composition adding a little bit of lights to define those shapes and um, again playing the lights against the darks to move the eye. I'm going to add some red. I'm going to get a little bit more of that red going on. 
I always needs kind of a, a buddy if you've got some red in one area you want to bring it into another another area and again this is starting to define the shapes just blending the paints with my hands on the surface and um, getting a nice um, I like that I had to bring a brush in for a few things but uh, really painting with my hands is one of my favorite things to do so mm, there we go some more darks just going back and forth with the darks and lights trying to see where what wants to be dominant and what wants to move into the background I also like to keep moving the piece around as I'm looking at it to see if it needs to go into a different direction it's important to keep moving around even if you're working on figurative work your eye will catch things that are off when you look at it in a new direction I like some of this pink back in I needed to bring some pink down into that area a little more blue and I think I'm about done here I continue to work with the shapes kind of the whites adding a little more highlight and then off camera I worked with a Krylon gold leaf pen to add a few highlights here and there and then I just added a few final touches with a little more of the quinacridone red and um, you can take a look at the finished piece I really had a great time doing this and I do love a challenge so challenge yourself and, and try some new products try a new way of working maybe you don't work with your hands it's, it's a really fun way as you can see to blend things and thank you Donna for inviting me to be a part of the challenge and I look forward to seeing you all teaching there in September Thank you.